everyone, Suzanne here. Welcome back to my Tomb Raider Chronicles playthrough. Today we are playing the final level in the Russian submarine section and it's called Sinking Submarine. So in the last video we saw that Mikolov, when he got his hands on the Spear of Destiny, he caused an explosion which means now that the submarine is sinking so obviously we have to get off of it before we end up at the bottom of the ocean and drown. It's pretty exciting so let's get into it. Right, so I don't remember this level really well actually. Um, so I just want to check is, oh, we can see, I wanted to see if like we could see Mikolov's body or anything, but the whole thing's just closed off and caved in. So yeah, there's no point really. So yeah, you can see all the holes, everything's filling with water. We have got to get off um, this submarine. This is exactly why I would never in my life- Oh, what's that music? <gasps> why are they still fighting? This is such a waste of time. Like, we should all be focusing on trying to get out of this alive. Why are people still trying to kill each other? It just makes no sense. Uh, but anyway, this- oh, that's caved in. Um, yeah, so- oh, I forget what I was saying. But, uh, yeah, we have to get off the submarine before it sinks. Um, oh yeah, I was saying that I would never, ever, ever go on a submarine. There is nothing you could say or do to get me onto a submarine. Uh, because this right here is my absolute worst nightmare. I could not imagine anything worse than this happening. You know me, I'm terrified of open water and the thought of being in a submarine that was actually going to sink, oh, no thanks. I will stay happily on land, thank you very much. What's down here? Uh, what was that jump scare music for? Is there anything in these? anything been replenished. No, nope, big nothing and the duct entrance up here is caved in as well so there's nothing here. Right, so I guess we go the way of the fire. Whoa! Oh no! No! Put me out! How I ran through a water stream, how did that not put out the fire. How did that... That was so cruel to make me watch that cutscene and then just burn me to death. Okay, so that absolutely sucked. I realised that the fire wasn't here, so... There. That's better. It's- oh, it's shaking! Right, is there anything in here? Oh, I got Uzis! They'll be handy. Okay, no, there's nothing else in there. And oh, I did it again. Oh, now it put me out. Well, fine. Okay, so we have to watch this again. So yeah, basically some of the electrical wires have like fallen down into the water, so if we obviously touch the water, we're gonna get electrocuted, which is not good. Oh my god, it's shaking. <laughs> well, I just stepped off into that. Well done, Suzanne. Brilliant. As usual. Oh well. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Okay, maybe I need to actually run and jump or not jump with that beam in my way. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Okay, and then try and jump in here. Great. This is caved in. Uh 
Oh, oh, run out. Run out of ammo. Did you drop anything? Oh, a swipey pass. Maybe that opens the swipey door. Medipack. That's helpful. Okay. We'll just have to use these Uzis. And try and get back through here without dying. close to it. No. No. <sighs> okay. Yes. Right. A uh, swipey thing was this way. We can't go that way. <laughs> Get electrocuted as well. Um, oh, and I didn't say, but there's only two secrets in this level because we got one in the deep sea dive. So they only put two then in this this one. Is this? Yeah, this is safe. Okay. Yeah, all that water is electrified as well. This isn't. Yeah, this is fine. Um, so this is like the control room, I'm pretty sure. Is there any pickups or anything? I don't know. enters a room and finds an injured Admiral Yarafeb sitting on the ground. The Admiral says that he knew Mikolov would be the end of it all and doom them. Lara tells him that they have a chance if they get to the escape pod. The Admiral babbles about how he doomed his men by accepting Mikolov's bribe so they could feed their families. Lara basically tells him to snap out of it and help her so they can escape before the submarine crashes into the ocean floor. 
The Admiral says that the escape pods have no internal air supply. He tells Lara that she will find oxygen tanks in his stateroom. He says he hears the ship dying and splintering. So basically we need to find these oxygen tanks and we need to find them fast. So off we go. Um, so, oh, why am I getting stuck on this? Uh, I don't think there's any pickups or anything around here. But there is one of those sneaky, stupid things where you're like, how are you supposed to know? So, we need to go up here. How are you supposed to know that? That's just so silly, <laughs> in my opinion. But anyway, let's go. I'm I'm done complaining about obscurity in classic Tomb Raider. <laughs> Do let me know in the comments below if you figured that out yourself when you first played this. Because that is that's a hard one. Okay. So is there anything? in here no okay search that for nothing i do believe this is a secret that we'll come back to later and oh yeah it's a it's a switch up here that we pull oops oh i can just jump up okay it looked too high so that has turned off the electricity so it's a bit darker now but that means that the water, all those bits of water that those electrical wires are sitting in aren't going to electrocute us anymore, so that's good. Although, like, if you turned off the electricity, how, like, how's that fan still running? And would it not be absolutely pitch black in here? Ooh, that went buggy for a second. Uh, yeah, I don't know, I have so many questions that I feel like I'll never get the answer to, so let's just move on. <laughs> let's just keep going. Uh, oh yeah, so this, yeah, this has shut off the electricity in here. Okay, so let's get, oh, I thought there was a pickup there. It's here. I don't understand though if the submarine is sinking how the water level isn't rising at all. That would have been that would have been actually a really cool um like feature to have in this level, I think. I don't know if it would have been possible back in 2000, but um to have it so there's a timer and you know you have to do everything within a certain amount of time and the water level keeps rising and then if you run out of time you drown that would have been pretty cool okay so i haven't gotten any secrets yet um i haven't gotten any secrets where are the secrets <gasps> So, oh yeah, this is accessible now as well. So yeah, this is the key the Admiral gave us. So I assume this is his state's room. Oh, it's very fancy in here, isn't it? Right. It's just so painfully slow. A medipack. Mm, I don't know. I think we've killed everyone on the ship now. Okay. So we have the two tanks we need now. Um, but I have just remembered where the two... Oops. Where the two secrets are. So... Okay. I know where one... Secret. 
Oh, crap it. Um, okay. <sighs> okay, we need that. And then, uh, we need a gun. Desert Eagle. So flippin' rude. Okay. Um so we need a key to get the second secret, but I don't remember where we get the key from. Um but let's just go get the first secret first. Okay, so that should have turned off yeah the electricity out here as well which means we can go into the kitchen uh oh i thought the secret was there hang on oh it's here cool now where do we get that that key from did i miss that somewhere of where we get the key. No one dropped it. Oh, what's this? There's the key. It completely blended in with the ground. That's so annoying. Oh well, at least we got it now. Like, if the submarine was really sinking, I really don't think we should be wasting time with secrets, but, um, yeah, doesn't matter. Lara, Lara does what she wants to do, even if a uh, submarine is sinking. <laughs> she does what she wants. Okay, so we got all those secrets and yeah, we've got 18 out of 36. That is all the secrets so far. I'm pretty sure. Why does it do that every time? Okay, so let's go and uh, put our oxygen canisters in the escape hatch and get the hell out of here. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Admiral. I stepped on you. It wasn't intentional. Okay. Right. Uh... Again, they didn't really put much effort into these graphics, but anyway, that's supposed to be the, the sea. <laughs> supposed to be. Imperial Navy. 
I have served my great country for many years, but the country I know withers. The bear lies down to sleep for its final time, and I wish also this feat on the ship I have grown to love. No deal. Yes, deal. For the outer airlock can only be opened from inside the ship. This is my gift to your child. I release you to a future beyond this dying vessel. And my gift to you? Tell my story. Tell how the proud men of the Russian Navy fought against the enemy from inside and sacrificed their lives for that their country may once again stand proud. You have my word. I salute you. Quickly, into the airlock, and I will release you. Goodbye, Admiral. Okay, so we do have one more cutscene to watch in this video, but I'm just going to go through that one first. So after placing the oxygen canisters in the escape pod, Lara climbs down to help the Admiral. There's a lot of long and confusing dialogue that they exchange in that cutscene, but the general gist of it is the Admiral says that he will go down with his ship and release the escape pod with Lara inside as the outer airlock can only be opened from inside the ship. Lara pleads with the Admiral to come with her and the Admiral continues to refuse, saying he gives her the gift of being released from the dying vessel. So a pretty admirable thing to do from the Admiral. <laughs> and my gift to you, Lara asks? Tell my story, the Admiral asks adding that she should make it known that the men of the Russian Navy sacrificed their lives for this. Lara gives her word and the Admiral tells her to quickly get into the airlock. Lara says goodbye and climbs inside. The Admiral releases the escape pod and Lara begins to float to the surface. And now we're just going to watch the final cutscene. Lara saw enough of the power of this artifact to recognize its rightful place was where man could never again misuse it. And not enough for it to destroy her. Some powers are beyond the wit of man. Oh dear, gentlemen, I do apologize. It seems someone up above has a sense of humor. If you will excuse me a moment, I shall fetch candles. It is a night spurred by hell. And as the horsemen drove ever onwards across the world, the heavens boiled in their wake. Ah, benefits of a religious education. Okay, so let's go through that cutscene as well. Lara speeds towards the surface of the water in the escape pod as Admiral Yarafev prepares to go down with his ship. As the Admiral lies on the control room floor, a silver glow creeps towards him and he stares at it in horror as the screen goes white. So the submarine has exploded. In a boat above, Charles Kane spots a blip on his radar screen. Remember the tracking device he gave Lara? Charles grabs a rifle and heads onto the deck. As the pod breaches the surface of the water, Charles notices Lara inside. Now we return to the three men in the Croft Manor study. Charles Kane says that Lara saw enough of the power of the spear to know that it belonged where man could never misuse it again. Father Patrick states that she didn't let what she saw destroy her. There is a flash of lightning and the lights go out. 
Winston apologizes and says that someone up above has a sense of humor and that he'll fetch some candles. Charles Kane says that it's a night spurred by hell. Father Patrick replies, and as the horsemen drove ever onwards across the world, the heavens boiled in the wake. Ah, the benefits of a religious education. Now, this quote is driving me insane because the way they say it, it's suggested that Charles Kane starts saying a quote and then Father Patrick finishes the quote and then says, ah, the benefits of a religious education, which suggests that it's a religious quote. Well, I searched high and low on the internet and I could not find this quote. It is driving me insane. I assumed it was referring to possibly the four horsemen of the apocalypse. And they're mentioned in the Bible in both the Old and New Testament. So I searched the exact quote that he says and I searched Old Testament, nothing came up. New Testament, nothing came up. Bible, nothing came up. Then I just searched the quote by itself and I got links to Dante's Inferno. I got links to Bram Stoker's Dracula. I literally could not find the quote. It was just pulling up random things for me. Again, I assume it's a quote to do with the four horsemen of the apocalypse because to me that would make sense, but I don't know where the exact quote is from or if it's even a quote. Anyway, if you know where that quote is from, please let me know because it's driving me insane. And also here, I just wanted to mention really briefly some info on Charles Kane because I realized that in my first video, I got so hung up on talking about the fact that Charles Kane should have been John Eves that I never actually talked about Charles Kane. So just very briefly, Charles Kane was born on the 1st of November 1949 in Casablanca, Morocco, which I thought was really interesting. So it said his father was Moroccan and his mother was Scottish. He was Lara's history teacher and over the years they just became like father and daughter almost is what it says but I don't know how seriously we can take this bio because as I said, they obviously just made it up last minute to replace John Eves. I think John Eves was probably like a father figure to Lara. <laughs> the information around where he met Lara is really inconsistent. So in one part of his bio, it says that he was Lara's history teacher at Wimbledon High School, which Lara attended from the years she was 11 to 16. And then in another part of his bio, it says that he was her history teacher at Gordonstown Boarding School in Scotland for eight years. But she only attended that school from the ages of 16 to 18 in her bio. So I don't know. The whole thing's a mess. I would say that they probably meant that he was her history teacher at the Wimbledon High School from 11 to 16 but even that's not eight years so i don't know the information is all messed up around that but we can just say for certain that he was meant to be lara's history teacher at some point now it did say that he had an interest in like russian history and things like that but i don't know what the hell a history teacher is doing breaking into and infiltrating a Russian Navy base. I don't know where the hell that's come from. But anyway, I just thought it was funny to mention. So yeah, that is the end of the Russian submarine section. So next up is Ireland. Finally, finally Ireland gets its moment to shine in Tomb Raider. And perhaps for those levels, you might see a little Lara cosplay coming back. If you're enjoying this playthrough, please do consider subscribing if you haven't or even liking or commenting. It really does mean so much to me and I'll see you in the next one.